Chicken for pressures are good. Vehicles cleared the tower. Now passing 18 seconds into flight. Engine chamber pressures look good. 27 seconds in. Vehicles now begin the pitch roll maneuver to point down range. Body rate response phenomenal. Chamber pressures continue to look good. Now 40 seconds into flight. End of roll straight now level. Chamber pressures continue to look good. 50 seconds in. Data quality looks good coming down from the vehicle. Chamber pressures continue to look nominal. One minute into flight. All seven engines continue to look good on the first stage. Data quality is good coming down from the vehicle. Body rate response are nominal. One minute, 15 seconds into flight. As we build a road to space for the benefit of Earth. Data quality looks good. Engines continue to perform well. Now passing one minute, 30 seconds into flight. Passing Mach 1. New Glenn is now supersonic. Engines continue to perform well. Now passing through Max 2, maximum dynamic pressure. Profile is good, body rates look good. One minute to Miko. DE3U, LH2 chill and started. DE4s continue to perform well throughout the boost phase. Now passing two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Trajectory is nominal. minutes 40 seconds approximately 30 seconds remaining in boost phase and here we are coming up Chamber on pressures on all seven main engine cut off let's stand by for that you look good stage two RCS priming now passing three minutes and we have Miko Stage set. And we have ignition on both DE3Us. Chamber pressure is good. Now passing three minutes, 40 seconds into flight. Body rates look good. Data quality coming down from both stages. Looks good. GS2 is performing the pitch up maneuver. Body rate response phenomenal. DE3U chamber pressure continues to look good. We have good payload bearing jettison. Separation confirmed of the well two stages. Stage two is now continuing its launch and flight. It's up, it's a Neo. Now passing four minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Our booster is going to try to make a landing. Less than three minutes you now remaining. the landing target out, out there in the ocean. We are going to four land on the Jacqueline, the landing ship that is awaiting this beautiful booster to make a landing. Yes, two bottles look good. Trajectory looks good on both stages. 
four minutes, 50 seconds into flight. on both CE3 use continues to look good. Five minutes, 20 seconds in. Less than two minutes now remaining to GS1 and transition. Thank you again, everybody, for GS1 joining us for New seven. Glenn's first launch to space so far. Five minutes and 30 seconds into launch. Everything continues to be nominal. A clean separation of stage one from stage two. Stage one, our booster. We are looking to land it on our landing ship, Jacqueline. There you see its targeted landing spot where the feather is there. And stage two carrying the Pathfinder for Blue Ring will continue its mission up towards Neo orbit where we will be collecting data for six hours. But let's continue to watch here as the two vehicles continue on their way. Confirm GS-1 engine chill active. Less than one minute now remaining to exo-atmospheric engine ignition. Six minutes, 30 seconds into flight. So coming up here, we're gonna see the middle of the 374 Body engines on, on the booster light up. Good. 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 Chamber pressures on both the E3 This use is going to slow the vehicle seven. down, and then as the vehicle gets closer to the landing strip, the Jacqueline, the two outer of the three middle engines will shut off, and just one in the center will remain to help slow as well as guide the vehicle back to the landing strip. As you've also seen on, on the booster vehicle, we have the steering fins at the top of the booster, as well as the straights, which act essentially as wings. This vehicle is flying back to the Jacqueline, providing lift to come in for a nice, soft, and vertical landing onto the landing strip, the Jacqueline. Chamber pressures on both the E3Us. All three engines relight confirmed. Good on GS2. Continuing through its planned burn. Uh, seven minutes, 45 seconds in. Good MR response on the E3U engines. Seeing good throttle profile. Chamber pressures continue to look good throughout the burn. Eight minutes, 20 seconds into flight. GS2 tank pressure staying within their acceptable limits. Body rate responses look good. Chamber pressures look good throughout the burn. Eight minutes, 40 seconds in. Passing nine minutes into flight. Continue to see data from both stages. GS2 data quality continues to look good throughout the burn cha chamber pressures, both engines staying very close to each other. GS2 trajectory is nominal.
less than three minutes now remaining in the GFC, Brian. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us. Wow, what a moment so far. We obviously have some uh, frozen data here on our stage.